Hello, my name is Matt Nolf. I'm with PNG Technologies out of Michigan. We're a supplier of propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Duramax. Uh, this is the XP10,000EH. It's the dual fuel hybrid elite series. Uh, it's propane and gasoline. Um, this has the 18 horsepower engine uh, with the 439cc. Um, we're going to show you the natural gas kit because a lot of people are wanting to connect these to natural gas and you can only get them to set propane and uh, gasoline. So we'll show you the custom kit on this one here. This will be a not a throw in the box kit. Everything will be designed to fit this engine here and uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, now the first step what we're going to do is go ahead and remove what we don't need back here. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the vent tube here. This is the one for the gas. Just pull it aside, pull your tube off here, just kind of tuck this back. Now we got a vibration bracket uh, bolt back here. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. and then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove our air cleaner cover here and expose our gasoline carb. Just go ahead and pull that out, get your filter out. There's a little metal plate here, just pull that out. You got two nuts here, just go ahead and remove those. And then we got one more on the back side here. that now we've exposed our gasoline car we'll show you the next steps okay now in order to get our slim adapter to fit on here obviously we're going to be extending the air cleaner out okay our studs are not long enough here so what we have to do is we'll go ahead and remove the metal plate just pull the gasoline carburetor forward get you some vice grips on here you're going to back them out about three to four full turns that'll give you enough space on there to be able to install the adapter and get everything back on these are not locked in there hard okay you can pull them out really easy and there's still enough meat back in here for the stability uh, for the carburetor so you don't lose any strength on it so we we'll go ahead and I've already backed them out and then we'll show you the next step here all right now that we've got our studs backed out the metal plate that we took off earlier you're going to keep this off you will not reinstall this back on here we will supply you with the gaskets for that so go ahead and get your gasket on here and get your slim adapter installed on there and we'll supply you with another gasket for the outside go ahead and get your air cleaner set up here Okay, now you can see there's enough meat on there to get your nuts back on. Now we're just going to loosely put this on because we're going to go to the back and install our vibration bracket. And we will show you the next steps. I'm just going to kind of get this up here a little. Alright, then we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on the back side. Okay, like I explained, when you put the slim adapter in there, obviously you're pulling this away a little bit. So your vibration bracket down here has a gap. We'll supply you a spacer. Go ahead and put that spacer in. And we'll go ahead and get that spun in there. And we'll go ahead and lock that down. That's pretty good there. And then we'll go ahead and install our line back on here. Bring this back around. Get that on there. And then we'll go back to the front and show you that step there. Okay, now we can go ahead and tighten down our bolts here. Get them on there. And reinstall. your bracket here 
Okay, get your air cleaner filter back in. We'll get the cover on here. There we go. And really, it's as simple as that. It's a very easy assemble on that part there. So let's lock that down, and we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount our regulator assembly here to the frame. Um, what we're going to do is we figured this would be the best spot to get it. It's closest to the carburetor adapter, so we'll get a real good signal. Now this will come all pre-assembled for you and adjust it. You might have a minor adjustment here. Just depends on how much different your pressure is. Um, but most of these are all preset for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this center bar here, okay? And from the side of the frame, we're going to come over and mark eight and a half inches. And we're going in the center of this. And then from that mark, we want to come over and go five and three quarters. And that will give us our center to center for mounting this unit here. So what I'm going to do is I use a punch. It keeps my drill bit from wobbling on me. So go ahead and we'll get that one marked. And let's go down here and go ahead and get this one set. And then we'll show you the next step. Okay, now we'll go ahead and drill our holes out. We're going to drill these 5 sixteenths. Now your gas tank is behind here. It's pretty far. Just don't punch her all the way through when you do it. That's that step there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and mount our regulator assembly up here. We'll supply you all the hardware for this. Go ahead and get that lined up. And get our flat washer on the back here. Get our lock washer. And a nut. And repeat it over here. Flat washer. Lock washer. A nut and we'll go ahead and tighten these down that step there we'll show you the next step okay now what we're gonna do um, is we're going to install our vapor hose between our adapter and our regulator so go ahead and slide that on the tube I don't tighten these up all the way yet so I can kind of turn the hose to get the kink out so just kind of get it set up there. Get that on there and then I'll just kind of turn the hose to tuck it in so it's not out of the, in the way of anything. So go ahead and lock this down. And that will finish that step up here. Now, when we do this, this is their propane regulator. They give you a little plastic boot to go over there. We're going to give you a, a 3 8 flare cap, screw that over on it, and tighten it up. And what that does is it won't create a vacuum leak now through this hose. 
So, because if you don't cap that off, you'll create a vacuum leak. Obviously, you'll have a hard time running. So we'll go ahead and show you the next steps and we'll get this thing running. Okay, now we've got everything installed on here. We'll go ahead and get it set, uh, ready to run. We've got our natural gas line hooked up. Now this unit here, we definitely recommend three quarter. If you go anything less than three quarter on your inlet here from your uh, natural gas meter, you'll run this too lean. This is a good size unit. So you wanna go with what is gonna give you the best performance out of this unit. So we've got our natural gas all hooked up. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Now make sure again, We've got this cap on the regulator, okay? Make sure your gasoline cockpit is shut off and your choke is off so it'll be open. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit this. Now on the back of this is your primer button. We're gonna hit that to get a burst of fuel in there. And this is gonna be your adjustment. Now we'll preset all this. So this unit should fire up for us pretty quick. Um, you might have a minor adjustment there because every natural gas meter is going to put a little bit different pressure out than most of them. So let's go ahead and hit the button on the back. Crank her over. We'll let her get to a low idle. And you're good to go with that. We'll show you the next steps. All right, that's the natural gas steps for the Duramax XP10,000EH. Again, this is the propane, the dual fuel hybrid elite series. Um, now, if you still want to continue to run your propane and not the natural gas, you just go about that the same way you did. Just make sure that our ball valve is shut off so you don't create a vacuum leak on that. That's just like we put the cap on the propane regulator so we didn't cause a vacuum leak there. So uh, again, this is a custom kit designed for this unit specifically. And uh, when you pull it out of the box, everything is set up to go for you. So uh, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. Uh, I wanna thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it helps out and uh, have a nice day.